And here we are. This is Labrador, folks. It's a great spot, but you know, the only unfortunate thing is that the weather is absolutely miserable. So how's the weather outside? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> You're outside for five minutes? Yeah. busy day at the St. Barb Ferry Terminal. No, it's not, that was a joke. Uh, today is the day we actually get to visit Labrador. That will mark our highest point northeast. doesn't want to say they drove all the way up to Labrador. Um, it's such a remote location, so we're pretty pumped about that. I don't think we're gonna have to fight a lot of traffic to get on this ferry, so as soon as it shows up, uh, we're gonna be Labrador bound. lighthouse that we know about. Um, oh, I think that you can camp there. Our friend Dan, Molly Mish, scouted that one out for us, so we might go check that out. It's getting kind of dark, as you can see, so I don't think we're gonna see a lot of Labrador today, but um, hopefully we're gonna wake up somewhere pretty cool. Here we are. This is Labrador, folks. It's a great spot, but you know, the only unfortunate thing is that the weather is absolutely miserable outside. I see my breath. It's, it's blowing like 30, 40 knots outside and uh, it's really cold. I tried to go outside earlier and just take some photos and walk around, but it, it was nasty. So um, basically we're just uh, being homebodies today, getting some work done. We have uh, excellent data signal so we can do some work. And then also uh, we're getting some cooking done. Andrea made some delicious, what do you call that? It's Thai carrot sweet potato ginger soup. Mmm, got a nice big pot of that that we can use for leftovers this week. Uh, it's a pretty good day to get some things done indoors as opposed to out there. It's not exactly warm, but at least it's uh, tolerable out here. <laughs> the wind has died down quite a bit and it warmed up a little. So anyway, here we are. We're going to go walk around and check out this lighthouse. Six 
a happy chick here at the base, as you can see from the windows. And you can see the markings as they chiseled away the masons did to make the curve. I'm going to tell the story about finding five and six docks laying here. They were crashing through the glass on this landing here. So we're starting to hear the wind even though everything is enclosed in glass. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, neat. So that was a bonus. What do you got there? I got some porcini mushrooms. Really good looking specimens. Yeah, aren't huh? they? This is a younger so one and this is a more mature one. That's not poison, right? Uh, <laughs> this one definitely isn't. I'll double check though. You, I always have to double check, of course. Yeah, you have a book. We'll make them with lunch. So yeah, we're... Uh, we're all packed up now and we're just going to pull out and drive on up the road see what we can see. And so this is where the pavement ends and the dirt road begins. If we were actually going to drive the uh, Trans-Labrador Highway, this would be the jumping off point. So this is the uh, Red Bay National Historic Site. This, uh, this area is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Oh, hi there. <laughs> These are pretty lifelike. <laughs> it's a Basque whaler. So they would harpoon it and then weigh it down with barrels until it just... Slow it down. Uh -huh. And they would approach it and kill it with a lance. Okay. You'll see a lance over in the corner. It's leaf shaped and very sharp. There's a shipwreck right there. Here's our shipwreck. That's actually pretty neat. So the whole historical significance of this island is that these Basque whalers in the uh, 1500s, they uh, came over here from Europe. They'd hunt right whales and render them into oil. So a lot of this has just been preserved and it's, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So it's a pretty significant place. All right, so we're headed into this Whaler's restaurant because it's rumored that they have cloudberry pie, which you can only find in Labrador, or Newfoundland Labrador. And uh, it's gonna be a real treat. Do you, ha do you have cloudberry pie? Cloud we do have cloudberry yeah. pie. Yeah, oh, we came to the right place. Good. <laughs> you do. Just one coffee, and then do you, do you want your own piece of pie? Yeah. And two pieces of pie. Seedy, lots mm. of seeds, mm -hmm. but tasty. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Mm. 
Mmm, yeah, that's good. It's sweet, but it's not like intensely sweet. 